Good morning, boys and girls. And I brought something I wanted to show you today. This is one of our family's favorite things. And it belonged to my great grandfather. It's called a scythe. And he used this um, up in the north part of Texas and into Oklahoma and Kansas back in the 1800s cutting wheat. That's what he did. And it's uh, one of the cherished things that our family still has from him. Now, if you look, one of the neat things about it, and I'm gonna to try to show you this, because here inside the handle, there it is, you can just get a glimpse of it. Inside there, if you look very carefully, there are some old, old grains of wheat that are still there from way back in the 1800s when he used to use this to cut wheat. You can see it all up inside there where there's that little split in the middle. And um, I thought about cleaning it up and shining it up, but I really like it just the way it is because it teaches a lesson. When you swing this, it cuts wheat with this blade down there. Now, Jesus talked a whole lot about cutting wheat and he talked a lot about harvesting and he talked a whole lot about how to plant. You know, in today's Bible lesson, we're going to read that there are good ways and bad ways to plant. And then there are some who planted and they didn't grow much. Some because they didn't land in the dirt and some because they didn't land in very good dirt and some because there were too many other plants nearby. And finally though, he says, if we plant in the right soil, we're going to get a great harvest. That means lots of wheat to cut even as much as a hundredfold. That means for every seed you put in the ground, you get a hundred seeds back. Now that would be a very, very, very good harvest. And boys and girls, I know that um, maybe you're thinking, why are we learning about planting? That's about farming. Well, Jesus told us about that because he was saying that the seed is like God's word. And we have to make sure that when we hear God's word, we allow it to go in and we allow it to grow and we allow it to be planted deep. And if so, God will make of some, something beautiful of us, like a, like a beautiful big harvest with lots of food. And when we listen to our Sunday school teachers or our mom and dads or the sermons in church and uh, when our family reads the Bible that's when we hear the Word of God so boys and girls I'm gonna pray that when we get a chance to hear God's Word whenever it happens for you that your hearts can be like the good soil Jesus talked about that that his word is going to come and it's going to be planted so well and watered just right and that it'll grow and produce something very beautiful in your life. That's my hope and my prayer. And that one day, if they were going to harvest your life, it would take a big tool like this because you have lots of wheat. And next week, we're going to hear about the harvest even more. So you'll want to stay tuned. But for now, boys and girls, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for your word. May it grow big and strong and make beautiful things in our lives. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.